Nobody in the business space here on YouTube seems to be talking about the AI projects that are coming out and literally changing billion dollar industries. More and more industries are going to continue to benefit from and be affected by AI. So today we're talking about two insane projects that are bringing AI to video. I like talking about the business and money side of things. And since AI has been blowing up recently, I wanted to keep you up to date with what's been going on. So if business and money interests you, click subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first project comes from a company called Wonder Dynamics and their AI tool called Wonder Studio. It's an AI tool that automatically animates, lights, and composes CG characters into live action scenes. It's also all within your browser, so you don't have to download a program to be able to use it. Now we'll look at some examples in a second of what the community has been able to do, but let's quickly go over what they're advertising on their website. The first feature called the body mocap, that just means motion capture, claims to automatically detect the actor's performance based on a single camera footage, meaning you don't have to have multiple angles. And then it takes that performance and transfers it to the CG character of your choice, automatically animated, lit, and composed. You can place the CG character exactly where you want it in the frame, and it'll replace the talent that it's being mapped to. So in this example, it's detecting the guy from the video and replacing him with this alien-like character. Even the hands are highly detailed. So you can see that the talent in this example is talking with his hands. And so is the 3D character that they mapped it to. So the robot looks like he's talking with his hands as well. Now this feature shows off how you can map different characters to each actor in your footage, and it'll remember which character is supposed to be mapped to each actor in your video. This would significantly speed up your editing time if you're animating a lot of scenes like this. Now here's an example of their facial technology. It's capturing all of the emotions and small movements in the actor's face and mapping them onto the alien. It's also able to read the lighting and compositing data and map it onto your scene and make it look like it's actually in the video. You can see the AI knows to include these blue and green color reflections on the robot. And you can export individual elements. So this section shows how you'll be able to caption the motion of a character just using basic footage and the tracking is done really well. And from there, you can really do anything that you want. So you can animate just the motion rig like they show in this example. You can remove the character from the background of the video entirely as they show right here. Obviously, you'll be able to edit any mistakes. So for example, his leg kind of spazzes out right here and they just quickly adjust the position. And then this is the final render from the video in this slide and honestly, it looks very impressive. Their marketing is pretty good too. <laughs> they say it's so easy that an alien can do it. Now this is exactly what I was talking about in my last video. This is basically going to bring an entire and highly complex industry into the hands of regular creators without having to learn these complex skills. They really lean into this marketing angle saying that, make hard VFX shots a thing of the past. And then they show off these dynamic camera and lighting examples. So as this robot is walking under some lights, his head reflects the lights that he's walking under, which in normal editing would be extremely difficult to achieve. And as you can see in this example, they also got the lighting and colors almost perfect. The 3D character isn't orange or something stupid, and he's got the right color and he was moving exactly as the original actor was. Now at the moment, they have six characters that you can choose from, which have obviously been professionally created, but just like I talked about last week, we'll soon be able to take scans of real world objects or people and turn them into these type of 3D models that we could rig up and animate into a scene. So being able to add your own 3D models in the future is going to be another huge feature. Now for the community examples, since I sadly don't have access to the beta yet, this guy uploaded a video of himself walking up onto these rocks and he mapped this robot character onto his body. But the craziest part is that he said it only took him an hour or so to do it. This is a crazy effect if you're able to do it in under an hour. Here's another example that Wonder Studio retweeted from SKK Productions showing off how accurately their model can replace the person fighting with the robot model. Now for one, how early this project is, but also how accurate it is, I'm just really impressed. Now there are several issues throughout the video, but again, at the current stage of AI, this is incredible. Here's another video of a guy swimming and he's mapping the professor model onto his body. It even, it catches his body rotation and most impressively, it pretty much completely removed the original guy who was swimming. Here's another community submission, just showing off a simple character replacement. 
And then this video shows off three people who are dancing and it maps onto each one of them a different robot character and it's able to do those all at once. Here's just one more quick fight scene that they did, which I thought was also very impressive. And then here's a final example from Blender Bob showing off real-time examples of both the 3D variation and his original video. The mapping in his result is wildly impressive, and it kind of looks like he's filming this on a webcam or something, not anything super high quality. Now, Deadline released an article where one of the founders from Wonder Studio said, our platform can be used for TV, but also video games, social media content, and even the metaverse. This is why we're so excited to bring strategic partners like Epic Games and Samsung into this round. So if Epic Games and Samsung are jumping in, this is probably going to be a huge project. Right now, this might feel kind of gimmicky, like a full body Snapchat filter, but just keep in mind that traditionally, you would have to suit up in an entire motion capture suit to be able to capture the right kind of footage without spending days and days of tedious editing. Again, this is extremely new technology and by no means is it perfect. Most people can't even access it yet. But for anyone creating any kind of media, these are the kind of tools you'll wanna to pay attention to. If you can easily just replace a character or an object in your video with a 3D object, that's going to open a lot of doors that weren't even doors a few months ago. Not to mention what happens when the 3D models start looking more realistic. If you can record an entire video and swap out the character, the voice, and the background, what's even left of the original video at that point. All of that leads us to our next project, which is called Runway. Now, Runway has been out for a little while, so you may have heard of it by now, but what's particularly exciting is their new features in Generation 2. It allows you to create video from a text prompt. Now, there are some AI technologies that can create videos using text prompts, but they're not that good, so that's why we're looking at Runway. In their promo video, they show off the text to video section. In this example, they show a surfer catching a wave, a lion in a living room, walking in a rainstorm cinematic, and then they show off several more examples using the Gen 2 AI. And for each of the examples, you can at least make out what the video is about and what's going on in it. They show off this short clip on their website that's supposed to be aerial drone footage of a mountain range. And honestly, it does not look too bad. Let me remind you of what Mid Journey version one and two looked like. And just nine months later, we have version five. Quite a substantial difference in my opinion. Now video is a lot harder to get right with AI, so I wouldn't expect to see Mid Journey version five quality videos in the next year, but who knows? Either way, I think both of these projects can have a huge impact in the world. It may not even be these specific projects that make the biggest impact, but the overall technology is what really matters. The AI we just looked at called Runway was even used to help create some of the scenes in the Oscar winning movie everything everywhere all at once. Again, I feel like nobody is really giving this the attention that it deserves unless you're in the AI space. If you do content creation or any kind of media creation in general, these tools or similar tools to them are going to become part of your workflow. We're seeing the earliest stages of media that are being created entirely by AI. When ChatGPT is able to create stock AI footage, write a script, digitalize a voice, and then combine everything, the internet could look like a completely different place as far as video goes. We've already seen some impressively scary deep fakes, and I have a feeling that's only the beginning. Now those weren't made with these AIs, but again, similar technology. I'm going to be monitoring these tools and any new ones that come out. Entire businesses are being built on top of AI, and I have a feeling that more and more businesses will be built on those businesses. I truly believe that this is going to be one of the most profitable technical revolutions over the next few years. So I just wanted to share the information I have with you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.